Hello, welcome back once again. This is Samuel Ambos Owen. I am happy to welcome you today uh, to continue with our study on the file system. Just a recap uh, for the previous video. We talked about anti events file system and FAT32. I forgot to mention that we are referring to the Windows file system, uh, which are found in the Windows operating system but we did not talk about other file system there are also other file system that exist out there so ntfs for windows is still the best one when you're using windows environment because um, it is a new technology file system and it is being used today and let me take you back to fat 32 fat 32 is not being used um, um like to manage big file but it is still useful as well you know like to manage the internal um components of the system like you know to control some program in the chips and things like that but really is not being used as um ntfs at the moment and ntfs file system originated from um Windows NT, which was introduced by Microsoft in 1993, um, just before Windows 98. But during that time, uh, it was being run, you know, side by side, you know, with a FAT32. So take note of that. Um, we have seen the advantages or the benefit or the reason why we use NTF file system today simply because of its security it comes with a strong access control list you know it is the most powerful file system you can ever find on earth you know, and it is reliable because of its uh, access list you know it's always there it, it has a huge space space up to eight petabytes you know and um this file system help us to control the version of our um, our programs our our applications our work just like any other file the most important aspect of file you know is to uh, to help us with version control of whatever we do on our computers so file allocation table is an old system i said it's not being used today uh, but i was not specific yes it is not being used for bigger uh, bigger projects big programs you know but it is still internally uh, implicitly being used to control some programs in the chip so i thought it was irrelevant for you to know that but i think it is very important so take note of that it is not used in the normal day-to-day -day running of the system or management of our file system for today, but it is being used by, you know, by other small chips inside uh, the motherboard or the USB which support uh, a large file uh, system as well. So fact that the two is still being used. So when you are formatting hard disk or installing some other programs yeah especially i did add this formatting you know you will be given options to to either format your disk using fat 32 or uh, use fda uh, ntf system so the choice is yours depending on the kind of program that you are doing so um as i said um FAT32 is the reverse of NTFS, you know, or what it does. Um, yeah, this is what I was trying to say in the previous video, uh, in the previous slide. Uh, FAT32 and NTFS are Microsoft file systems designed for Windows operating systems. There are other types of file system as well. Um, you know, for other operating system. So we are going to take a look at them right now. We have like Zettabyte file system. Uh, this is used for uh, for large enterprise environment. You know, with high performance systems. Zettabyte uh, Zettabyte file system is 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 a big one. We find them in a data center. 
you know, like uh, search engines and, um, you know, other cloud computing systems using this file system for managing their data. And also we have extended file system, you know, or fourth, um, uh, fourth extended file system, which is designed for Linux distribution systems. We also have uh, APFS, which is Apple file system. This is like an uh, NTFS file system for Microsoft, but it is for Apple. You know, this is a file system used for Mac operating system, and it has replaced um, the hierarchical file system plus, which is the old system for uh, Mac OS. Think of hierarchical file system as the FAT32 for Windows, but this is for Mac operating system. So it is the old uh, file system designed for Mac operating system. And uh, we also have another version of file allocation table. As I said, FAT is still being used, you know, to prove that, you know, you can see that it's still useful, but mainly for small chips inside the motherboard and for flash drives with uh, larger file supports. So that is it, my friend. Uh, next, we are going to see uh, the storage uh, capacity of the files because it is very important for us uh, when we are learning this file system. We should also know um, the capabilities of our system, how to store and what kind of program we are going to run and even controlling the size of our data. So ne next, in the next coming video, we are going to explore the size or the measurement of the memory, the hard drive, which um, determines the size of the file that we have to, you know, that we, we can have in our system. So thank you for viewing. I'll see you in the next video. My name is once again, Samuel Ambrose Onen. Happy learning.